Today you are going to be working on lesson two of our economics unit. Just a reminder that when you get to your econ homepage, um, you will see our essential question for the unit, our standards that we are looking at, and the guiding questions that will help us answer this. We also have some important information on the side that you can look through here as well. Okay, you will click on today's date, which is 1013, and you will open up that directions page. Okay, your warm-up is watching CNN 10. If you haven't done that already, you will do that, and then you're going to discuss with your classmates. So you're going to share out loud with your substitute teacher. Okay, then your activity. You are going to read textbook page um, 522 to 527, which is chapter 19, lesson 5, and it is The Farmers. Okay, once you have finished reading those five pages, you are going to answer using a Google Doc, which is attached below, and I will explain that in a moment you will answer these questions. So you have some comprehension questions, a critical thinking question, you're going to predict, so you're going to come up with an educated guess as to what's going to happen next, and then you're going to have to do some research. So you're going to want to go into Safari, and you're going to want to try and answer this question. Notice that it gives you that you need to list and explain three or more problems. Okay, so you're going to try and find three problems facing farmers today and you're going to explain those because what you're looking at with farmers in this section is farmers during the late 1800s and early 1900s. And so then your research question is looking at that today in 2017. Okay, so these are the questions you're going to answer. When you get in here, you're going to open up your economics unit note sheet. Okay, you will open your assignment and you'll have a hyperlink for the note sheet. You're going to want to click on that. Okay. And then you're going to click in here it says click here for your note sheet. So the red here that's capitalized. Notice that it then says you will make a copy and then hand it in right away. So you will need to hit on your screen the hand in button. Same as I showed you guys last week when you turned in your Google Slides. You'll need to um, upload it from your Google Drive and then turn it in. And you need to do that before you even begin taking notes. So right away once you've made your copy you're going to hand it in. Okay. When you click on here, it's going to ask you to make a copy. You will hit yes, and it will open up into a Google Doc. Okay. If you're not able to edit it when it first opens, then please open it up in the app, same as we did with the vocabulary slides. Okay. You're going to write your name here, and you're going to write your social studies block. Notice that it says day and number, so block 2B, block 3B, block 4B, okay. and you will fill in that information. Okay. Vocabulary, it says paste the link, the share link for your slides here. So you can just paste the link for the slides that were due today, and you'll paste that in there. Okay, and then farming, topic two, it says answer your notes here. I suggest copying and pasting your questions from Power School Learning into this area, and then writing your answers underneath. This will be your note sheets for all of these topics that we're going to look at with our economics unit. Okay, any other information that you would like to write in, if you would like to toss in pictures, um, drawings, anything that will help you to better understand these topics, you can do so on this note sheet. Okay, but you need to make sure that your name is on here, that the block is in here, and that in Power School Learning, you hand it in right away. Okay, that's helpful because then if you have questions and I'm not in class like I am today, I can answer those for you and I can see what you are doing. So it needs to be handed in right away. If you don't hand it in before you leave today or you don't hand it in at all, you will receive a consequence. So please make sure that you are doing that. Okay, this should take you the entire class period to read through your section and to answer your questions. If you finish early, you may read silently, either Outsiders, a personal book, or you may borrow a book off of my bookshelf. Um, but you are not playing games on your iPad, and you should not be listening to music, especially while you are reading the section. Okay, there is no music while I am not there. Okay, you are working on these questions, working on your reading, and if you have any questions, please send me a message through Power School Learning. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next week.